Guess we'll get this one back. We will wait for another flag. We'll tip up right next to you. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 he's there. Here we go. Got him. How's it feel? Yeah, it's got a decent amount of weight. That's there crazy big. Okay, hey, there we go, guys. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edit. So in today's video, as you read by the title, Brandon and I headed all the way up into northern Wisconsin and we did a little bit of tip up fishing for some walleyes. Now this has been a really big thing up on our channel in the past couple weeks because the walleye fishing has been phenomenal. We have been able to get on a ton of walleyes and even some true Wisconsin giants. But in today's video, the conditions changed on us. The last couple weeks, we have had some really, really good weather for northern Wisconsin. Usually we have two feet of snow, we're getting below zero temperatures, but this year that hasn't been the case. So we've been really gifted with our conditions and the walleye fishing has been phenomenal, like I said. But today's video, it was brutal. We had a true cold front day for northern Wisconsin. It was about 10 degrees when we set out that night for some tip up fishing. The wind was about 10 to 15 straight from Canada, so it was very, very cold and the fishing was definitely brutal but that did not stop us from getting out there and showing you guys how to catch these walleyes on cold front days so that's exactly what we did and that's exactly what you're gonna be seeing in today's video we still ended up catching some really nice walleyes so you will have to stay tuned for that okay that's enough talking out of me enjoy the video guys well ladies and gentlemen we just got set up on a brand new spot that we have never fished before we just got our first tip up. We've probably been out here for 15, 20 minutes. This is a really good sign. I can't guarantee what lies beneath the over 12 inches of ice that we're standing on, but I'm hoping it's a Goliath walleye. Let's go check it out. Here we go, guys. Got him. Decent. Feels okay, not giant. Let's hope it's a walleye. It is. Ooh, that's a little guy. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Feisty one. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Check that out, guys. That is the smallest walleye I've ever seen come out of this lake. But that's a really good sign because that means this lake is reproducing. That is pretty awesome. Just a little guy. Probably about, I don't know, 12 inches maybe. Just a short. Definitely not a keeper. But... We'll go ahead and unhook him. Ooh, got him right on the tip of the mouth. Looks like he got the minnow, so. All right, we're gonna go ahead, unhook this guy, get a release on him, get him back in the water right away. Okay, there we go. One last good look at this little guy. He's close, but not quite to the legal limit for up here in northern Wisconsin, so we're gonna go ahead and get a release on him. Beautiful colors to this little fish. Go ahead and get him back down there. There he goes, beautiful. Beautiful. That's the awesome thing about fishing is you don't always get to experience giants. Now, that is the reason why we're on this lake is because this lake does hold some potential giants, like personal best fish. Easily could be broken right here on this lake. But to see the values of fishing like that, to see a small fish come through the ice, especially when the pressure's high and the fishing was the way it was earlier today as we experienced while we were northern fishing, it's kind of exactly what we expected to be on there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one back into the water and hopefully it acts a little bit differently next time because it's a giant. All right guys, just got another tip up. This will be our third one of the night. This is a different hole. This one's a little bit shallower, so. Definitely as the night keeps going on, these walleyes are gonna be pushing in shallower towards the weed edge. Let's go check it out. Hopefully we got a nice big walleye. It was really nice to see that last smaller one, but we're out here to catch some giants. Give her the old check. Did not take much line. They're biting extremely light. We keep getting flags, which is better than getting no flags, but I'd like to see us start connecting a little bit. The only way to do that is to get this tip up back down and just wait it out until we get another flag. Well, guys, as you can tell, we have another tip up. And Nick- Quick, quick wardrobe change. Is not wearing the appropriate attire. It's this is the truck special, guys. We are sitting in the nice heated vehicle back there, so I stripped down. I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. 
minnow? Nope. Minnow's still there. Really? Picked it up and dropped it. The bite is so slow. I've never had a bite this year this slow. Usually we've had a couple run at least. Tonight is not that night though. Guess we'll get this one back. We will wait for another flag. It's quite a bit of bind. Pull tip up right next to you. Oh shoot. Okay. Get that one down there. Get that one down, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Here we go. Ooh, stopped. This fish is here. I mean, unless it just dropped it, this fish is here. I'm pretty certain of it. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 he's there. Here we go. Hopefully this one's a little bit larger than the first one. Got him. How's it feel? Pretty small. Pretty small. Yeah, it's got a decent amount of weight, but not, not oh, crazy no. big. Woo! Okay, hey, there we go, guys. That's wow. that's a good sign. We've been out here grinding, but that's a decent little fish. Nice, fat, probably around a, I don't know, 18, 19, 20 inch fish, yeah. somewhere around there. We're gonna have to get a measurement of that one because it's gonna be very close. Definitely covered in a little Beautiful snow fish, yeah. Here, let me wash them off. I'll give you guys a good look at them here. Ooh, he's got the minnow right there too. Nice. There we go. Nice that we were out here able to tend to that one. I wonder if. That yeah, was the I'm same thinking. Fish. I don't know. I'm thinking if we were. I mean, we're not that far away from these tip-ups. Honestly, we're right on the other side of where we got them set. But they are just taking it right away, and then they're dropping it right away. But we were <laughs> right next to this one. Yeah. That is awesome. I'm gonna get. A measurement on this bad boy he should be under the slot but he's gonna be very close we're gonna check just to make sure and if he's not we're gonna get him back close. 20 and a half 20 and a half all right this fish has got to go back all right there we go wasn't actually that bad this fish is just barely into the slot but that is all right even if it was under, I was probably going to throw it back. I'm not really in the mood to keep any fish. Just out here to have a good time. So I'm going to get a release on this guy right away. Definitely a very, very healthy, nice walleye. Very important to get them back. It is very important. You want to hold them until they kick out of your hand. A lot of people like to just put them back into the water and think they're just going to swim off. No, you got to recharge them, get them back before you let them go otherwise sometimes they don't make it down the hole again so you want to make sure these fish are in good shape before you release them there we go nice slow release but it took a little bit to get that fish back but I can't even say guys enough about how important it is to make sure that fish is nice and perfect before they go back because it is so important especially up here in northern wisconsin to get those fish back keep the population going because if we run out of walleyes guys i don't know what us fishermen are going to be doing because saturday nights yes they are for the boys but they're also for the walleyes so i'm gonna get this back into the water go get a tip up light on that who knows it could be up and we're gonna get back to the truck and get another flag all right, ladies and gentlemen, well, we just got another tip up. We've got some folks fishing, you know, not too far from us. And man, they have been attending a tip up for, it's gotta be close to an hour now because I think they were attending to it before we even had those last flags. This has probably been about half hour or so. Oh yeah, we got some slow, slow movement. Check this out, here we go, guys. Slow, slow, slow movement. Got him, right there. Big head shakes, big head shakes. Well, take your time with it. Big head shakes. A lot of weight there? Or? Decent amount of weight. All right. Nice walleye, check that out. There we go. All right. Woo, that one's probably just under the slot. Actually, that's gonna be really close to what the last one was. Honestly, that one looks like about 19 beautiful colors to this one. Look at that white tail on that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. You can tell this we're fishing one. clear water, guys, because these walleyes are beautiful. Beautiful colors up here. Just in gorgeous Wisconsin. fish. We're going to go ahead here. I'm going to grab the pliers and get this one 
untangled. He choked that one most of the way down. I can see hook, and this one actually has a little blade on it. Beautiful, beautiful fish went down and just choked it. So that's really good to see. It's been about half hour since we've gotten a tip up or so, I would probably say. But right that's around two there. now, though, that we've had to swallow it. Yeah, two that we've had swallow it, and both of them were bigger than the first one. So that's our third walleye of the night, probably our sixth, maybe seventh flag, I would say. This one came up. Orange beads on this one. Little spinner on there. Decent sized minnow. We are using suckers tonight. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this guy taken off right away. All right, guys, well, we got a measurement on it. This one's 19 and a quarter, just under the legal limit. I know Nick's not probably gonna be keeping any, but I have not got out quite as much as Nick has, as you guys have probably seen in our most recent videos. So this one's gonna go in Brando's freezer. We're gonna go ahead and take this one back to the truck. Decent walleye. That's a beautiful fish right there. It's a perfect eater. Don't really care to take anything over the slot. Slot here is 20 to 24. Anything bigger than 24, I would much, much rather put back into the water. But if you can get a couple of 18, 19 inch keepers, that's a, that's a pretty awesome night. We got a few hours left of fishing, so hopefully the bite doesn't die down at all. If we can get on a couple more, especially a couple right around this size, we're gonna have ourselves a decent little fish fry. So we're gonna go ahead and get this tip up back into the water and see if we can get a couple more. Okay guys, so that is going to wrap up the day for us. We had a pretty decent day for being a cold front day. We ended up catching three walleyes. We had seven flags and about three to four hours, which isn't anything crazy. I mean, the numbers were definitely lower from every other trip that we've had this year for walleye fishing, but we still ended up getting it done. We wanted to prove that we could catch walleye still, even on the coldest days up here in Northern Wisconsin. When we get out there and film for you guys, every day can't be the best day possible. We wanna show you these type of videos because it's, it's more realistic, you know? You can't get out there and just catch a 30 inch, 10 pound walleye every single time you hit the water. You can't get out there and just have 50 flags. You can't, you know, you just can't do that. So we wanted to show you guys a video like this because to show our struggles, you know, we don't get out there every single time and just pound the fish. So we wanted you guys to be able to relate to this video because in Wisconsin, you know, we have fronts moving through all the time. The weather is constantly changing and the fish are constantly changing. You know, sometimes they bite, sometimes they don't. Today's video, they really didn't bite, but we still managed to get it done. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a like and make sure you guys are subscribed if you're new. Make sure you guys stay tuned for next week's video because next week's video is probably gonna be the best video that we upload in 2019. Now that may be a little early speaking, but it is an absolute banger. It is a challenge video. We possibly maybe set a world record. So stay tuned for that guys, because it's gonna blow you away. It is so funny, so awesome. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave us a comment, letting us know what your biggest wall is. We're very curious. We wanna know what days you guys find the best for weather. You know, if it's an east wind, a south wind, what temperature you guys like to walleye fish in. Just let us know, we like having conversations with you. And until next time guys, tight lines from NB Edits.